What's up, friendly YouTubers? It is Ice Guy here, aka Mikey, and I hope you guys are having a great Christmas. But today, I have you guys my updated creative classes, and I have seven classes that you guys would like. And I did do an, a video before, right when the game came out, of my top five classes, and it's been a while, so I figured I'd do my best classes to date. And these classes made me get a 4 KD. As you can see for my weapons, though, I have some pretty good, decent KDs. And the M8A1 is probably my favorite gun in the game, but we'll get that to the later. We'll get that to the later. So yeah, so here's some of my cla uh, gun classes and stuff. So let's move on to the create classes. And first class today we have the MP7 with fast mag and silencer, really good gun. It returns from MW3. It's not as good as MW3 because everyone knows that MW3 had the best uh, MP. Like MP7 was god amongst men. It was the best gun in the game. But for my perks though, I have Ghost Hardline. Perk 2, we have Scavenger. Perk 3, we have Dexterity. And then we have Lethal for C4. And this gun is really good. Like, you can switch it to Semtex for Lethal and Tactical. It's mostly preference and everything. So it doesn't really matter, but I'd rather have C4 just because I'm running Orbital VSAT. So, like, when there's a person on the corner and I, like, I want I want to get him, but I don't want to like use my gun or anything. I don't want to die and risk it. Then I just throw my C4, as I like to call it, the pizza, and kill him. So for my next class is the MTAR, and it is an assault rifle that has a really good fire rate, probably the best fire rate out of all the assault rifles, and it has really good uh, accuracy and everything. It's really good, solid gun. We have fast mag and stoke, and you can't substitute it for suppressor. I picked up the gun with suppressor sometimes, and it made me get some kills. It's really good gun with suppressor. Uh, still the same performance with suppressor and everything, and you can't have fast. You can switch up fast mag and stoke, but for perks though, I have. Flat jacket, hardline, scavenger, dexterity, and C4. And you can switch out for tactical a pistol. The TAC 45 is a beast pistol. It's two shot from long, uh, not long, medium and uh, short range. So it's a really good gun. And then for our next class, though, we have the PDW, probably the best submachine gun in the game, with fast bank and silencer. And then for perks, we have the ghost uh, to stay off radar. Then we have flat jacket, perk three, scavenger, perk three. Uh, did I say perk 3? Well, it doesn't matter. Dexterity and then lethal. We have C4 and concussion. Concussion is there because I, this class is more of a rushing. It's more of a fast-paced class. As you can see, I have fast makes on it. If it was more of a, like, more campier, then I would probably switch this out for more of, like, foreign grip or something or like target or target finder like target finder or something but since this is more of a rushing you want to be fast paced you want to reload faster you want to throw those concussions so enemies confusing with the c4s and everything so this is a really good rushing class especially with flat check and everything so you're immune to uh like enemy 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 like c4s and stuff so yeah Next class, though, we have the AN94 with Fast Mag and Silencer. For perks, though, we have the two wild cards, Ghost, Hardline. Perk 2, we have Scavenger and Toughness, and this class is an amazing class. It's more of a, a slow-paced uh, class because it's an assault rifle. And the AN94, if you guys did not know, for those noobs, this gun shoots out two bullets that are faster, and then after, short, like, shortly after, it shoots out a little slower. But you can't really tell. Uh, I, like, I know it's there, but you can't really tell. But for my per attachments, though, I have uh, Fast Mag and Silencer. This is more of a slow-paced game. As you can see, you have Toughness there because you don't want to afford this gun to stay off target on the enemies and everything because... Um, this gun's really good damage and everything, and if you get if you're getting shot at, you want all your bullets to be focused onto the player. So it's a really good gun, and you got C4s here just in case if you're in a tight tight situation. Next class though is M27. It's a really good gun too. Uh, most of assault rifles and submachine guns are all balanced pretty nicely in this game but for, I have fast mag and silencer this is more of a rushing uh, class for assault rifle you can't switch out hardline for lightweight and you got concussions and stuff and everything so this gun's really good uh, it, all the bullets register all it's just a really good gun all in all it's a basically the same as a 94 just a little bit faster shooting and everything so yeah next up is my best class in the game the am8 a1 best probably the best assault right no pop probably the best Black Ops 2 gun in the game. I have a 4.0 KD almost with it, and you need the selective fire in this gun. Obviously, you need uh, silencer, but you do need the selective fire. I repeat, you do need the selective fire. And this gun is a three, no, four burst gun, and I don't know why, but everyone was like just yelling at me because um, I said it was a three round burst gun and everything. So it's a four round burst for those who hate 
and it's a really good gun it's solid no recoil if it's a four burst and then with the selective fire uh it's, it has like really good fire rates better than some most submachine guns fire rates which is quite incredible incredible and yeah all in all it's a really good gun for perks though i have the same setup as the a94 and you need toughness for this class because you can't afford those bullets to be penetrating especially when you're on select select the fire on the four burst uh if you're if you're getting shot at and you you have you don't have toughness and everything your bullets are going to be like wandering off and everything and you can't afford your bullets to like wander off and everything so if you have toughness and you see a head glitcher or something this gun is an amazing class i have no problems with head glitchers anymore this gun just if you're accurate you're gonna kill the guy no matter what now our last class is the msmc all in all this is a good gun it's probably the best submachine gun other than the pdw they're basically twins i would say and for the attachments though i have fast and silencer you can substitute laser sight for this if you're a hip fire but i'm not i'm more of an aiming down person typically so i'd rather have the fast mags and then perks i have uh, flat jacket scavenger dexterity c4 and concussion so those are all the classes um this gun's really good too and good for medium long and short all in all it's a good gun so all these classes are really good it made me get a 4.0 kd so i do really recommend it if you guys are struggling with black ops 2 you're struggling to get those like 50 kills or something or 100 pluses uh these classes do wonders for me uh, it's a good gun all these classes are good and i just got a message i'll reply to him after Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and also leave a comment if these uh, if these classes actually helped you and everything. But from that, hope you guys have a great holiday, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.